Hello, this is Mr. Mormon. I would like to welcome you to my science class. I have a lot of great things planned for this year, and I look forward to working with each and every one of you. So let's get started with an introduction to both me and the course, and an explanation of my flipped classroom model. First, a little about me. I have over 20 years of teaching experience. I've been teaching at the Riverhead Middle School since 1995. Before that, I taught in New York City. I've taught 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. Currently, I'm teaching Regents Living Environment and Grade 8 General Science. Before becoming a teacher, I had a brief career as a marine biologist. I even lived and worked in Hawaii, studying monk seals. I got my marine biology degree from Southampton College and my master's from Stony Brook. I have a son named Brody who goes to Riverhead. I live in South Jamesport. I love nature and the outdoors. I lead a pretty active life. Outside of school, I enjoy boating, and fishing, I kayak, I go camping every summer up in Lake George, I like mountain biking, in the winter I ski and I snowboard. Probably my favorite activity is kite surfing. I'm also into classic cars and I've owned and restored many, like this Chevelle here. So that's a little about me. I look forward to learning more about you and your interests and talents. Now for a little about my classroom and my expectations of you. Everything you need to know is covered in the course outline you got the first day of class. But I will review everything now. First, let me talk a little about my classroom. For one, I assign seating. Now this is not permanent. Students will be sitting in many different seats around the room throughout the year. Um, I shake things up every now and then and students get to uh, work with different students, different groups uh, all throughout the year and get to sit in different parts of the room. We do a lot of group work. Um, students are grouped in uh, pairs of three or four. Uh, when working in groups, we need to make a special effort to pay attention when, the, when I'm speaking. Um, because we're sitting in groups, we're not all facing the front of the room. So that, can be, that has to be an extra special effort that students make to uh, pay attention when I'm talking. Uh, and not be distracted by the things that are going on at their table, at their group. We need to make a special effort to be courteous and respectful of each other and make sure everyone in the group gets a chance to contribute. Um, I, I assign a group leader every day and that rotates so uh, the leader duties get, uh, get distributed and it gets changed up every day. Next I'd like to talk a little bit about my pass system. I give each student four passes every quarter. Uh, I expect students to be in my class all the time, all period, every day that they're supposed to be there. I understand that sometimes there are emergencies and that's why I give out these passes. Uh, but normally bathroom and locker should be taken care of between classes. I, I give these passes but I really expect students not to use them and actually I reward you for not using the passes. Every pass that you do not use becomes a raffle ticket to be used uh, for rewards at the end of the year for gum, candy, and other prizes at the end of the year. So again, if you don't use your passes, they become raffle tickets. Being prepared every day is super important. You need to have your master notebook, pens, pencils, uh, be in your seat at right after the bell rings, looking at the board, uh, reading the do now, copying down your homework. Uh, you should have an agenda book that you use every single day. The next thing I want to talk about is my grading policy. This here is a quick outline of how you're going to be graded every quarter. 50% tests and quizzes, 30% labs, 10% is preparedness, and this is mostly your notebook grade. We do a notebook check at the end of the unit. Um, but it would also include things like making sure that you have everything every day. And then 10% for participation, that would include things like homework, classwork, um, and things like that. I also want to mention that uh, uh, for makeups and absences, if you, if you know you're going to be absent, talk to me ahead of time. I can give you the materials that you're going to be missing and you can stay caught up with the class. 
Uh, I'll be talking a little bit more about the videos in a minute, but uh, you can continue to watch the videos that are posted on my e-boards, again, to keep up with what the, the class is doing. When you come back from your absence, see me. I will give you any work that you missed, and we will come to an agreement as to when those things would be due uh, and handed in. I would give you extra time, and you could, uh, you, you'll, we'll, we'll work that out together. I'm very fair and reasonable, and we will certainly be able to come to an agreement there. Um, along those lines, I also want to talk about extra help. Extra help is on Thursdays after school. I offer also offer extra help during period five lunch. Homeworks in my class are going to be a little bit different than classes you've had before. Um, I used a I use a flipped classroom model, and this is the idea of a flipped classroom. In a normal classroom, the content, the teaching is done to the whole group in the classroom. In the flipped classroom, the, uh, a lot of the content is given for homework on videos like the one you're watching right now. Um, it's individualized, and what's nice about this is you can stop and rewind any time that you need to go over things. You can go at your own pace. Uh, in a normal classroom, the practice is done for homework, where you're answering questions, working on worksheets, uh, graphing, who knows what the assignment could be, but you're working on your own. In this model, that kind of work is done in class. The practice work is done in class. We work on things together in our groups where uh, I'm available to help you if there are any problems. There are many benefits to teaching this way. Um, differentiated instruction. Students get to move at their own pace. They can pause. They can rewind. They can watch a video multiple times if they need to. And it's student-centered. The students are responsible for making sure that they're responsible for their own learning. Students are active participants. And when they're in the classroom, there's collaboration. There's communication. Uh, it addresses absenteeism because the videos are available even when the students are not in school. They can still get a lot of the instruction and keep up with the class. Uh, the videos are a resource for reviewing. They're, you know, can, they're archived. You can go back on my e-board and watch old videos as you're getting ready for a test or a quiz. It reinforces the use of familiar technologies that we all use every day, and it encourages master learning. And it makes the classroom environment more fun. It gives us a lot more time to do hands-on activities and experiential learning. Well, that's it for now. That's about all that I wanted to cover on this video. If you have any further questions, just talk to me in class or refer to the course outline that I gave you the first day of class.